I got this one last time, so let's see. Do your best impression of me. Oh no. <laughs> I felt bad for what I did last time. Well, you, oh, go ahead, do your thing, man. I'm better at you in fighting games. That's my impression of you. That's your impression of me? Yeah. I mean, you did beat me once. In, once? In, no, in that one okay. game that we played before. I'm hanging on to that memory. <laughs> well, mom, mom and beat me once. What and are you trying to say? I'm at I, the same no, level you, as mom and girl. You won a game. <laughs> they didn't. Okay. You're better. But I'm better than oh, you. Oh, okay. I'm in when such a better space. Games. I'm such a better place now. Thank you. Thank you for correcting that. So now your impression instead of work is gaming. Or, I've leveled or up. You rub, or are you rubbing your face that in your high score in Miss Pac-Man? Yes. I still have the high score on Miss Pac-Man. I have the high score in Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. What's changed for us since our last the and conversation? A lot. Um, well, a lot happens in three and a half years, right? Yeah, mom. Mom had a, another battle in twenty two, and she won. And she won. Score. I think you've changed the most. Like in your term, your maturity of, yeah. in terms of like you helping with the house and chores and focus on school, all the things that you did not see as important before, you see as important now. Yeah. You've really stepped up. I think it's really cool. What are you hesitant to ask me and why? I think it's just the thing that I really want change, but I don't know how. That's why I change the games, like mod them, because I want to see change in those games, but I also want to see change in life. And I don't know how to kind of, the th like getting friends is that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really am hesitant to ask about like, how can I change this? How can I make this better? I think it's like, I don't know how to change my humor to actually be funny to other people. Cause mm -hmm. my, like you said, your humor gave you friends. Mm -hmm. My humor is kind of pulling away people from being my friends. Mm -hmm. And that's really hard. Cause I don't know how to change my humor to their likes. And I don't know how to change like in a way that I can get friends and have a bigger friend group. Do you feel like you need to change yourself though to to attract those people or should you be who you are to attract people that like you for who you are? But that's like the thing basically nobody's like that besides my friend group which is very small. Yeah, but we you do go to a small school just so we're very clear, small school district. I think the time so, I'll have that big friend group will probably be college, but that's a long way from yeah. now. I just, I, I think you are, again, wise beyond your years for just the way in which you approach things. And I wouldn't change who you are naturally for others. like. That to me is the biggest mistake you can make. I think sometimes you're, you're in this space and I get it. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, not having the amount of friends or the group of friends that you want is, is the right place to be, right? I'm not saying that at all, but I also don't think you should change who you are to try and attract people. Like, I think that's the wrong answer. You, if you get people that don't like you or, or are not attracted to you based on who you naturally are, you're just kind of faking it till you make it anyways. And that's, it takes, takes away from what we love about you. Like, honestly, you are, you have the quirky sense of humor like I do. So I get it, I understand it. 
What do you think is the hardest thing being your son? Oh, um, I think sometimes I set expectations that I need to first understand what you want you're right out of life instead of setting life expectations for you. Um, so I imagine that can be tough that I have these kind of standards and expectations as your dad. And it comes from a place of love like it really does. I don't want I want my kids to be able to um, succeed, succeed. Yeah. To stand on your own two feet, to be a great human being to others like that's my goal that you're going to go out there and and show up as an awesome human being. That's it. And I know that that sometimes it it comes off as a, a little stringent from me or a little, a little hardcore. And I tried to dial that back a bit. I, I know what it feels like, I mentioned, to be bullied and to like, you know, video games and all the things that you love. I think we have a lot of the same similar loves, but I imagine if I put myself in your shoes and looking at the standards we set, that, that might be a little tough. What do you think is the hardest thing being a father? Oh, I want to know this. I'm ready for this one. <laughs> Wait, what was it? So you're putting yourself in my shoes this time. So what do you think is the hardest thing about me being Responsibility. Oh, don't you, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to manage, I think, two kids now, me and I, because, well, this is in college. Well, do you still have to manage with her? Do I still pay her bills? Fair. Fair, yeah. And you also have to take care of dog, Benny mm, the Benny, Beagle. Yeah. And also, you. You got to make sure that you still keep your job and now call a flower ear that you have. <laughs> well, that's actually a good thing. It's not a great permanent trophy that I have, but I do like practicing jujitsu. It's fun. No, I, it's a good hobby now. But yes, I, yes. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think I would be surprised to know about you? Well, I told you about the skydiving experience that yeah. I was terrified. Um, I think there's a lot of moments where you and your sisters or even mom don't know that I'm scared of something that's happening. Like we're, we live in a world right now where it is very scary out there to be raising kids. And so I keep that kind of under under wraps. I don't talk to you as openly as uh, I might like to, quite frankly, because I don't want you to feel like you're not, you know, protected by me. Well, you don't need to keep everything bottled up. I know you say that, but that's why that's why I don't talk about that stuff as much. Well. You'd probably be surprised to know that. I try to be the big, strong dad that you guys can all depend on, right? Yeah, but like sometimes you should just like be open about more stuff yeah. instead of keeping everything bottled up. Noted. What is one thing I could do to be a better father? Maybe stop rubbing my maybe stop rubbing your high scores in my face. <laughs> Never. I'm always gonna do that. But what else? Anything I could like do to be a better father for you? I mean, like I said before, probably just be more open about things. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, probably just that. Okay. What is your greatest hope for me? Uh, well, I said a little bit of it earlier, um, that you just end up being a rock star human being that you remember to consider others all the time, man. 
be yourself, be authentic and genuine to who you are. Don't change for people. Don't do that. Stop trying to be what everybody else wants you to be because there's only one of you and that's perfect, right? One of you is plenty, right? There's only one of me. So be original, right? Be, don't be a version of someone that you think will get you more friends. Don't do that. Because then you sacrifice who you are for others that don't deserve you, quite frankly. I'm going to be honest. So that's what I hope for you. I hope you just continue to be this awesome young man that becomes a, an awesome grown man uh, that stays true to you. If you enjoyed that conversation at the end, visit theskindeep.com slash shop where you'll find more of our products to create the space to explore the relationships that are most important to you.